Recently, Olympic skier uh, Lindsey Vaughn spoke about the fact that when she goes to the Winter Olympics, she intends to represent the United States, a country that she's proud of, but she does not wish to represent President Donald Trump. Now, uh, that is her political opinion, that is free speech, but Fox News didn't like it. Their feelings were hurt because we must bow down to our leader. So uh, Fox and Friends had this hilarious segment that I wanted to share with you guys. Take a look. American skier Lindsey Vaughn, she would like to win another gold medal yep. at the Winter Olympics in South Korea coming up. That's right. But, but, but here's the problem. If she wins, she's not going to the White House. She's already said that. She said she does not like Donald Trump. Listen That's to what right. she said yesterday. I hope to represent the people of the United States, not the president. I want to represent our country well. And I don't think there are a lot of people currently in our government that do that. All right, she's just another celebrity, another Hollywood person who doesn't agree with the president. The resistance continues. Do you think continues. she cares? You know, the last part of her statement was true. There are not a lot of people in government representing us well. Maybe she watched the first eight <laughs> minutes of our program <laughs> and saw that that's true. And not a lot of it has to do with President Trump. You but, know what's uh, interesting is you think about it, uh, her ex is uh, Tiger. Tiger Woods, mm -hmm. who played golf with President Trump, what, a week ago? Maybe that's ago? why they broke up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, Tiger Woods, uh, no problem, apparently, playing golf with the president. But if she wins, she's not going to the White House. Yeah, think no about that. You, you got athletes preemptively declaring their resistance to a president as they get the honor. Think about the honor of going to the Olympics the and representing, United. wearing the flag. It's like wearing the flag in, in combat, in battle. Yeah. You're t it's a team. Proud too. You're saying, well, no, it's just, just uh, we're going to write off our president. Very un-American. How is she, by the way, preemptively uh, stating her resistance as if Trump hasn't been elected yet? Like he's been president already. Like he's he's show he's he has a proven track record of what a gigantic douchebag he is. So guess what? Someone gets to uh, resist him or reject him in any way that they uh, like. And I'm very curious to see if Fox and Friends would have a similar segment if Lindsey Vaughn said the same thing about Obama. Would they go on there and be like, oh, this is like so unpatriotic. I can't believe she's doing it. It's like you know, going to the Winter Olympics is like fighting for our country. It's like being the military man. No, I doubt it. And by the way, one of them thought it was like risking her life in the military, and the other one thought, oh, she's just an empty celebrity. Yeah. Well, actually, she's not an empty celebrity. She's a pretty good athlete. <laughs> so she's <laughs> going to the Olympics. I love the uh, maybe that's why they broke up two years ago is because <laughs> the president played golf with Tiger Woods last week. Yeah. Like that. I just didn't e get even the Deucey time. was like, Deucey. probably not. Let's anyway, move on. let's move <laughs> on. Let's move on. Um, so it's. If you're, look, there's a thousand reasons why she might not want to see Trump. One of them is that she's a woman. And Trump has allegations about 16, 20 women that uh, that he has attacked. So would you want to go in a room with Harvey Weinstein if you're a woman? I wouldn't, right? Would I want to go in a room with Donald Trump? I don't know, It's you're taking your chances. So uh, that's why I think it's a little different than just uh, a normal political situation. And and to be fair, if if Obama having not done anything physical to people or attacking any groups of people. If someone had raised their hands and said, I don't want to meet Obama, I don't think he's my president, right? That'd be a little problematic. And so. No, I disagree. I think that. Are we forgetting what this country is about? Like, this country is about being able to freely express yourself. And, and and especially one of the most important things is is feeling comfortable enough to speak truth to power. I don't care if it's a Democrat, I don't care if it's a Republican, I don't care if it's Obama, I don't care if it's Trump. It's like the fact that they're making such a big deal about this just shows a fundamental misunderstanding of some of the more important elements of this country. It's also the like Lindsey Vaughn is telling the president essentially to go f himself. But yeah. like, isn't hasn't the president told a bunch of people to go f themselves since he? set foot on the public stage, it's actually consistent with at least things that Trump has done in the past. Mm -hmm. And saying that, oh yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's absolutely hilarious, as is the line when one person says, um, do you think Trump cares? The Ainsley Earhart also said on that thing, do you think Trump cares about her? And the answer is yes, yeah, he no, because definitely. you know he's watching and you care about what Trump thinks about you, which is why you're stroking his ego every single minute of your telecast. Yes. When Trump's team unleashes him and allows him to tweet again, um, 
This he, might be what it is. Oh, yeah, no question yeah, yeah. About it's going to it. be disgusting yeah. too. Yeah, I want to be clear. I, of course, I don't care if people criticize Obama. Uh, at least with Trump, it, like he's attacked certain groups of people. That if yeah. if you're Latino or you're Muslim, I don't think you want to go meet Trump. I, mean, I think that's fair. And and or you're a woman, or or you're a decent human being. If you want to get the whole Young Turks show every single day, become a member. Tytnetwork.com slash join. And once you do, you'll be saying, you know, I'm like a smart person. Or you might say, I think it's weird. Or you might say, oops. No, that won't be that one. It won't be that one. It'll be great. Trust me. Tytnetwork.com slash join.